Well, 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 this was not the announcement that I was expecting to wake up to, but here we are. CD Projekt Red has announced their next project, and unsurprisingly, it's a brand new Witcher game. They have hinted at it for a while now, but it is official today via a press release that they put out there that doesn't provide a whole lot of details, but it does give us a teaser image, and it does give us some information as to what their development tool will be like, and... It's definitely, I think, good news what they relate here. They're no longer using the Red Engine, their proprietary engine. They're moving to Unreal Engine instead. So let's take a look at the website right here, thewitcher.com. A new saga begins. Now, the fact that it says a new saga rather than, you know, a brand new game indicates that it's going to be a series of games likely. They probably have multiple games in mind. It's probably going to span multiple entries, whatever this new saga might be. Will it revolve around Siri? Will it revolve around a brand new character? Who knows? Siri seems to be the most likely scenario, but, you know, that remains to be seen. Here's a teaser image in question, the emblem of the Witcher, the necklace that is so iconic, and then scrolling down, we'll find information. What little they have to relay here. We're happy to announce that the next installment in the Witcher series of video games is currently in development, kicking off a new saga saga for the franchise. This is an exciting moment as we're moving from Red Engine to Unreal Engine 5, beginning a multi-year strategic partnership with Epic Games. So this right here for me is encouraging news because one of the things that CD Projekt has struggled with most is their proprietary engine. And not just with Cyberpunk 2077, there are plenty of development horror stories surrounding Witcher 3, which you may recall did launch pretty buggy, even though it was still received really well overall. And there was just a lot of code spaghetti involved and whatnot, and it just didn't pave the road to the most efficient development pipeline. By using Unreal Engine 5, they can focus less on the technical side of things when it comes to having to constantly update their engine, and they can focus more on using a very powerful tool that's already available and just focus on the content creation aspect of development instead. And that way they can get rid of all the obstacles that might present themselves in having to continuously develop their own engine. It just means they're spread less thin. And given how awesome Unreal Engine 5 is as a development tool, I mean, we have seen the numerous tech demos and some of the games that are already being made on it. We have seen the trailers and just how photorealistic things can look and just how much the graphics fidelity have been pushed. I think Witcher has the potential to look incredible on Unreal Engine 5 and to run more efficiently and to lighten the workload on CD Projekt so they can focus on creating the game instead of, you know, trying to establish these tools. And for Cyberpunk especially, the Red Engine was detrimental because they were making the game as they were upgrading the engine for next-gen, and that created certain uh, struggles in the development pipeline of that title, and not to mention that with Cyberpunk, it was a different genre in the sense that they had to implement first-person shooter mechanics and vehicle driving mechanics. They had to simulate a whole city, and there was a whole lot more verticality compared to the Witcher games. It was just a different beast from Witcher, but with Witcher here, this new saga, you know, CD Projekt is already familiar with how to make a Witcher game, with Witcher 3 especially, that's where they reached their pinnacle. And so the combination of not having to use Red Engine anymore and using a more established engine like Unreal Engine 5, and the fact that they're revisiting a franchise that they're familiar with, with mechanics that they're a lot more familiar with, I think that'll pave the road to hopefully smoother development that will result in this game launching in a more appropriate state than Cyberpunk did. But only time will tell. Hyping oneself up too much is dangerous, as uh, Cyberpunk 2077 proved, but uh, there are optimistic signs already. But I certainly won't trust see Project Red as I used to. I used to see them as sort of the golden standard of the AAA games industry landscape. Not so much anymore, but I certainly still want them to 
returned from the big hit that their reputation took because of Cyberpunk 2077's rough launch. But yeah, the statement continues. It covers not only licensing, but technical development of Unreal Engine 5, as well as potential future versions of Unreal Engine were relevant. We'll closely collaborate with Epic Games developers with a primary goal being to help tailor the engine for open world experiences. At this point, no further details regarding the game, such as development time frame or release date, are available. Yeah, one thing I wouldn't expect is for this game to come out anytime soon. This game does feel like it's like four to six years away from releasing and hopefully CD Projekt will take as much time as they need. Cyberpunk 2077 was clearly a product that had tons of ambition, but the developers weren't given enough time to realize all of those ambitions, which is why it felt like it fell short of a lot of its promises. Hopefully they won't do a repeat of that with this next Witcher game, and they'll take all the time in the world that they need. But this is clearly early development, and they're putting this announcement out there, likely to hire more manpower to get the word out there and get developers excited to apply for jobs at CD Projekt to work on the next entry of the seminal series. And then finally, Red Engine, the technology which powers Cyberpunk 2077, is still being used for the development of the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077 expansion. So a small update on Cyberpunk 2077 there, which they've not given up on. They recently released update 1.5, which did bolster the game quite a bit. Still not quite where it should be, but definitely getting closer and closer to what it should have been at launch. And with the expansions, hopefully, those will really bolster Cyberpunk 2077, both in terms of content and in terms of systems, mechanics, and features that were sorely lacking at launch. But yeah, from the looks of things, Cyberpunk 2077 for now is the last game where they'll make use of the Red Engine. Moving forward, it feels like they're going to focus on using engines that they themselves don't have to develop and that are already established and that are already multi-purpose like Unreal Engine 5 which has freaking worked miracles like that Matrix uh, tech demo that is playable on PlayStation 5 and has probably the most photorealistic graphics I've ever seen in any form of interactive software. Now, there is a longer version of this press release. I actually got an email for this, and I'm going to read this for you guys in case you want just additional context and details. Not a whole lot more information here, but still presents a lengthier statement about all this. New Witcher Saga announced. CD Projekt Red begins development on Unreal Engine 5 as part of a strategic partnership with Epic Games. Now, one thing that I hope is that this doesn't mean Witcher will end up being epic exclusive which i highly doubt this partnership seems to be more about the technology of unreal engine rather than any sort of exclusivity cd project would be shooting itself in the foot given how many of their sales go through gog which is our own storefront and allows them to get a hundred percent of the revenue I don't think they'd give that up. The statement continues. Today's announcement marks the first official confirmation of a new game in the Witcher series since the release of their previous single-player AAA RPG in the franchise, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, with a total of this many awards. Here's a teaser image, etc., etc. Uh, CD Projekt Red also announced that they will be moving to Unreal Engine 5, and uh, this is the first time they're moving away from Red Engine since Witcher 2. Speaking on the use of Unreal Engine, and five for this and future games. CTO of CD Projekt Red, Pavel Savoudny, I butcher that, stated, one of the core aspects of our internal Red 2.0 transformation is a much stronger focus on technology and our cooperation with Epic Games is based on this principle. It's interesting that they mention internal Red 2.0 transformation. It looks like CD Projekt is reevaluating a lot of their internal development process, especially after the disastrous launch of Cyberpunk 2077, the rough journey of development, not just for Cyberpunk, but also for Witcher 3. So that's also a good sign that they're reevaluating their internal process and putting a much stronger focus on technology and efficiency. From the outset, we did not consider a typical licensing arrangement. Both we and Epic see this as a long-term fulfilling tech 
partnership. It is vital for CD Projekt Red to have the technical direction of our next game decided from the earliest possible phase as in the past we spent a lot of resources and energy to evolve and adapt Red Engine with every subsequent game release. This is them straight up admitting we put way too much work and way too much manpower into updating our engine. Too many resources and too much of our efforts went into that which gave us less time to focus on making the game itself so with this new tech partnership with unreal engine where you have an established engine it will just lighten up the workload quite a bit for the company so the fact that they're admitting this and acknowledging that this has been a problem and that they're resolving this by using unreal engine 5 instead of their proprietary engine may mean that they are learning from their mistakes and that they are adapting and that the process might be better with uh, the development of this new witcher series so hopefully that'll ultimately yield very positive results when the game eventually comes out years down the line or as cd project red put it this cooperation is so exciting because it will elevate development predictability and efficiency both of which projects like cyberpunk 2077 lacked as they were making the engine while they were making the game or updating the engine while they were making the game while simultaneously granting us access to cutting edge game development tools i cannot wait for the great games we're gonna create using unreal engine 5 and that's the thing about unreal engine 5 we have seen its power its capabilities its flexibility it's a very good engine, and uh, honestly, I'm excited for any game that decides to take full advantage of it. To close things off, we have a statement from Tim Sweeney, founder and CEO of Epic Games. He said, Epic has been building Unreal Engine 5 to enable teams to create dynamic open worlds at an unprecedented scale and level of fidelity. We're deeply honored by the opportunity to partner with CD Projekt Red to push the limits of interactive storytelling and gameplay together, and this effort will benefit the developer community for years to come, and hopefully CD Projekt Red can greatly benefit from this and uh, they can redeem themselves from the rough launch of Cyberpunk 2077 and they can make the best Witcher entry yet which if they do given the status Witcher 3 has achieved in terms of one of the greatest games of all time would uh, make this new Witcher entry sort of a new bar to meet hopefully that's where we can get at with CD Projekt learning hopefully some hard-earned lessons and adapting their development process using Unreal Engine 5 and uh, understanding the importance of nailing their next launch. I'm going to do my best to not get overhyped. I cannot deny that I'm excited about a new Witcher entry, but lessons were learned on my end as well with, with uh, how I covered Cyberpunk 2077 with uh, how much I blinded myself because of how hyped I was and how much I trusted CD Projekt Red and perceived them as this golden standard. This time I hope to temper my expectations while still being excited and being hopeful and, and just wishing CD Projekt the best because at their best, I mean, there's so much potential with the studio. There's so much talent within this studio. But only time will tell how all of this will play out. Until then, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the announcement of a new Witcher saga developed on Unreal Engine 5. Are you excited? excited for this? Are you hopeful about this? Are you optimistic? Are you kind of on the fence because of Cyberpunk 2077? Or are you just full on, I won't trust CD Projekt until I see something tangible or until the game launches? I mean, given that the gameplay presentation of Cyberpunk 2077 didn't turn out to be fully reflective of the final game. It turned out to be fake in a lot of ways. So, you know, there's things to be vigilant about, but Overall, are you more optimistic, more on the fence, or more pessimistic about um, the future of CD Projekt and the development of a new Witcher entry? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.